Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be testing out and reviewing a product for the hair and that is the Goldwell Soft Color um, Semi-Permanent Soft Mousse Color. I got mine in the shade 10B, which is Pastel Beach Blonde. And this is supposed to enchant your hair color on the back of this bottle is this conditioning foam colorant to boost your colors shine and vibrancy and it says that it's for five to six applications so i got this because my older sister recommended it to me and i was really unsure what color to purchase so i went on youtube to look for some reviews and honestly there's not a lot of reviews on this product i only found like maybe six the most so yeah i thought i would test this out on camera you guys may find this video helpful and i know that right now um, things are opening up, but I still don't want to go to the salon yet. Um, I'm trying to take care of myself and of course my baby and be as safe as possible. So yeah, we're going to be testing this out right now. Um, I haven't done anything to my hair. I only brushed through my hair. So let me show you guys. So this is my hair. right now oh yeah i need a haircut pretty bad but i haven't gotten one so i'm really excited to try this out right now i'm also wearing a really old shirt that i don't care about so if it gets stained it won't matter to me. So I'm gonna go shampoo my hair and then I'll be back to put this on with you guys. So I already shampooed my hair and I towel dried it. And if you're wondering what shampoo I use, it's the shampoo that I used in my blonde hair care routine video that I just um, uploaded on Monday. You guys can go to that video and you'll see all the products that I use. I know I didn't talk in that video, but I do want to say that every time I use the shampoo and the conditioner, my hair feels really soft. And when I do the deep conditioner, it feels just extra soft and hydrated. And so far, I really love love the heritage shampoos and lime Anyways, back to the video so i'm going to just um comb through my hair and if you have curly hair i suggest you always start combing your hair um from your ends working your way up to the roots because if not you're just going to Tangle your hair. I'm going to put on some gloves. Okay, so the directions, they say shake well before use, wear gloves, check, distribute evenly through shampoo, towel dried hair, and comb through and leave to process. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna shake this. It says to shake really well, so. I'm just going to split my hair in sections, just four sections. Yeah, 
I'm just going to start. It really doesn't have any strong smell. Oh, I think it doesn't even have ammonia or something like that. It's so cool how it's in a foam. Okay, I'm gonna apply some more because I'm not sure if the first time was enough. And now I'm just going to use my comb to comb it through to get an even distribution. And I'm going to split this one in two. going to do this one. I'm not even sure if I'm using enough of the product or too much, if that's possible, but I'll try my best to list the ingredients on the screen, but I know this is safe for me to do at home. Okay, now I'm gonna do this side of my hair. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see how the finished look will be and if it actually did anything to my hair. I just love how you seriously don't have to mix anything and you could just apply it like if you're applying mousse to your hair, because it's a mousse. Like, it's so easy. It's so easy that it makes it hard for me to believe that this is going to work. I actually haven't touched up my hair since I dyed it, which was in late December. I have like a mini little vlog about that, if you guys want to see it. I was going to make my appointment in March, but you know, everything happened in March, the virus. So that killed my plans. And I really want to do like a at home maternity shoot. So I want my hair to look good. I really 
get the back over here. Okay, so everything is in there and it says to wait five to 10 minutes, but I'm honestly going to wait longer because it says a deeper result will be achieved with longer processing times. So I'm gonna leave it alone for longer, probably for like either 30 to an hour. That's probably how long I'm gonna leave it on for. And um, I'm just gonna pick up my hair up. Yeah, I can't wait to see the results. Oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, I'll be back either in like 30 minutes or an hour. And I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay, I'm back guys. And I went to the bathroom to check on my hair. And honestly, I don't see a difference. And it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to leave it on for 30 more minutes. And hopefully... When I wash it off and it's dry, there'll be a difference, but this is how it looks right now. My daylight starting to go down, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you guys how my hair color turns out after I shower my hair, but I'll try my best. If not, I'll probably record tomorrow. And maybe I'll try to straighten my hair so you guys can see how that looks. Put my hair back up. And I'll see you guys later. So I'm in my bathroom right now. It's been a full hour and this is the way it looks right now. I don't see a difference. But yeah, again, you know, I'll probably be able to see one when it's dry not wet because when my hair is wet it does look darker so yeah definitely gonna update you guys on how it looks tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow hello guys it's the next day i have no makeup on um and i did not straighten my hair i left it curly like the way my hair naturally is and the reason for that is that when I showed you guys the way my hair was, I had it naturally just brushed out. So I thought I would show you guys the results with my natural hair. This is how it looks. Yeah, that's the way my hair turned out. I feel like I'm probably going to need to do this a second time to get all the blonde pieces one even solid color. So the overall process of this hair coloring was really easy and safe to do at home. Oh, and also I did not feel any damage to my hair. I still feel it very soft um, and healthy. So that's a big plus. When I did take off the product, I did shampoo my hair again. And I also used my conditioner and then I use a leave-in conditioner spray and my Renewing Argan Oil. That's pretty much all the products that I used after I got out of the shower. And right now I put on it's this little bottle. It's Argan Oil derived from Moroccan argan trees oil treatment. It adds instant shine in its frizz control. And it's a color protection. It's by the brand One and Only. It's a little sample size that I have. And the reason that I put it on is because my hair was looking a little bit frizzy. So I didn't want to come on here like super crazy with my hair. I mean, it's already pretty. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.